Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a tutorial on the UNSC Scorpion. I think this is like the third version of the Reach one that I've done. Um, although one of them was pretty much unidentifiable as the Reach one, which was that one over there. So yeah, we've gone from that to that. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, the old version of this was in the final version series. So that was about a year ago now. So yeah, I think one's overdue. Uh, we have done a Halo Wars 2 one recently, but that one is going to be kind of merged with this one, I think, um, because they are pretty much the same thing. I think in terms of the build for that, um, the body can stay the same, but the turret is just a little bit different on the Halo Wars 2 one, so I'm probably going to revisit that build and uh, just mix that up a bit and show you how to change the Halo Reach one into the Halo Wars 2 one in the future, but not now, because this is the Halo Reach one, so yeah. Um, but yeah, starting off with this, uh, for the first layer, because we're doing the layering system as usual, uh, as with pretty much all videos that I do now, we're going to start with the treads basically. So yeah, this is the treads and a little bit of the tread covers on the sides as well. So the materials you're going to need for this first layer are going to be chiseled stone bricks. That's going to be your um, kind of wheels inside the treads that turn the treads themselves and then the stone brick slabs, and then stone slabs, and then stone brick stairs. Here's just a quick turnaround of the build before we start. There we go. <laughs> right, so let's find ourselves a nice working area. So we're gonna start, I guess, here. You're just gonna do three upside down stairs like that. And then take a chisel stone brick, leave a gap of one, one there, leave a gap of one, one there. And then three more upside down like that. Then do a normal one there, 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 and there. So we normally follow a pretty similar pattern for most tread designs now. Um, we usually do this. I mean, we do a similar thing on the elephant. Uh, not exactly the same, but similar. And then just on one side, you're gonna do three top uh, stone slabs. And then for the rest of it, so you've got these five blocks here, you're gonna do one, two, three, four, five with just normal slabs like that. This is gonna be the inside of the build, by the way, so you wanna work on this side. Okay. Uh, leave a gap of one. You want to take a temporary block if you want to put that there for now. Just do that. Uh, and then I guess one there, and then two more upside down stairs there, like that. And then replace that one with an upside down stair. So you get this. And then we're just going to do the same thing again, but in kind of reverse. Um, I mean, yeah, actually, it is the same thing. You don't actually have to flip it around or anything. So you're just like this. Um, and then the normal stairs like that and then on one side on the outside just three top half slabs and then one two three four five normal slabs okay and then from there we have to do a bit of the body before we move on to the um, other treads so what you're going to do is come to this normal stair at the back here so yeah this is going to be the back of the build this is going to be the front on this stair here specifically put a temporary block and then one two three top half slabs then a temporary block and then you can basically if you want to work and do the treads now I'm gonna do that but yeah uh, you could do the rest of the body first but we're not gonna do that so yeah just do this we're basically just copying that over but this time we do have to mirror these outside tread things so yeah make keep that in mind so just like this one two three one there one there do your five there like that, and then your three top half slabs, sort of like that. Another gap of one here, um, and then we'll start with the uh, chilled, like this. Same thing again. This is the last tread, obviously, so yeah, we're getting close now. Three top slabs, one there, one there, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, stair there, stair there and then three top stairs, like that. So then what you want to do is come to this uh, magenta, not magenta wall, uh, yeah, take your magenta wall, but come to this um, chiseled stone break on the front tread, and then just put a temporary block here, and then do three more slabs. And then another one there if you want to, but you don't really have to. The final thing you want to do is just link those up on the outside layer, like this. So you get a very long, kind of O shape, I guess. <laughs> if you want to fill in that middle one, you can as well. Um, I guess I can do that for you now, just to show you. 
You don't have to do it though because you won't see the underside of the build um, and it's just not really necessary but like if you want to keep it consistent I guess do that. But yeah, that's it for the first layer, so on to layer 2. Okay, so for this layer you're going to start off by doing three stone brick slabs here and here. Uh, one thing to note, we do have some extra materials this layer. So as well as the four here at the start, we also have dark oak wood fence gates, anvil, uh, green hardened clay, and cyan hardened clay as well. So yeah, you're going to put an anvil there and there on top of that chiseled, and then a stair there, 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 and there. Okay, and then just behind that anvil, you're going to do one, two, three, four uh, green hardened clay, four and then three stairs behind that hardened clay, like this. And then just do the stairs so they link up there on the outside, but don't do that on the inside, because it is a bit different on the inside. So just do that. Um, also, you've got these last three layers here. You want to put temporary blocks next to all those. Just the last three. And then put dark oak gates on there. Uh, so we don't forget, just turn the outside gates inwards, but not the middle one. And then you can actually delete those temporary blocks underneath that, you don't need them anymore. Um, and then actually keep that dark oak fence gate just for now. So yeah, once we've done that, you're then going to come to just here. Um, and behind this stair, oh, for this stair actually, you want to turn that one inward instead of uh, towards the back. Yeah, turn that towards the end wall and then put a slab behind it, slab behind it, um, and then a stair just behind that, like this, and then two anvils behind that stair. This one shouldn't fall down because uh, that classes as one block, so yeah, just like that. It does hover a bit as you can see, but you won't be able to see that because the body covers it up, so yeah. And that's it for the front tread. Now the back tread is a bit different, you just do three stairs like this, um, and then your two anvils here like that. We'll get those out of the way. And you can throw the anvil away now. You don't need that. Um, you're going to take your four green hardened clay again, um, like that. And this time, there's no anvil at the front. You just want to wrap this around to there, um, and then one there, and then wrap that around to the back. Although, actually, replace that one with a stair like that. Oh, goodness. Get rid of that. Actually, yeah, just forget that bit for now. So, yeah, you want to wrap it around to there. And then do a slab there. And then a stair there like that. So, you should get this. The final thing is just four. Uh, sorry, three slabs there. Yeah, same thing again. Uh, just like this. Uh, actually, that one, that one there goes inwards. Slab there like that and then this one wraps around so yeah you should have that now uh, you don't need to put these on the back and you don't need to put the anvil on the back that's going to represent our little light thing and um, there is a bunch of lights on the front treads but not on the back ones so okay and then from there um, come to this block here put a uh, green horn clay there and one there now delete these temporary blocks here delete those two delete those two so yeah, once you've got that, you're then going to take cyan, do three there, and then one, two, three, four, five, 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 and then same thing again, five, and then do an upside down stair here and here, facing outwards, and then three green hardened clay, and then this is where the build becomes a bit asymmetrical, so you want to first of all get rid of I'll get these uh, symmetrical bits done with. You want to do two, cyan, uh, and then one, two, and then turn that stair forward. This is going to be a bit tricky because we don't have a block underneath now, but just look at this side here and then do it like that. So three. So that should be floating um, over the base that we made before. Okay, so once you've done this, this is where the asymmetrical bit comes in. So looking from the top, this is our left side, you want to do one, two, and then one, two, three, like that. And then put a chisel here on the left side in that gap. Okay, and then it's symmetrical again for the rest of this layer. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, with your green stained clay, 
and then just three upside down like that. Okay, now that's it for layer two, so on to layer three. Okay, so layer three is good because it was a pretty small layer. So you want to start off by doing three stairs here like that, and then two there. And then you want to do two slabs here like this. And now that is going to cover up our anvils, but you know it's still good to have them there. Um, it's better than just using big blocks. And if you want to simulate battle damage, you can take maybe one of those slabs off and have the anvil exposed, and it works. So yeah. So you just have your slabs there, and then two cyan, two cyan. I'm doing this in a weird order, but yeah, sort of like that. Then a stair there, stair there. Then a slab, and a slab. And then this is where the asymmetrical bit comes back again. You want to just do a stair facing outwards, and then one facing kind of backwards like that, so it curves around sort of like this. Now this is going to be the very tiny area where the um, gunner would sit. Yeah, it, you can't really fit anyone in there, I don't think. Um, but, you know, that's kind of how it works out. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's mostly to scale, but, you know, there are limitations with the blocks. I mean, in reality, the gunner seat would be slightly further left, but I couldn't put that there because that's where the uh, body kind of is meant to be rather than the actual gunner seat. But, yeah, you just kind of have to sacrifice a bit. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, from there you're just going to do one, two, three, one, two. This is on the right side. And then one there. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. And then a set of three slabs like that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and then just here, you need to take a stone slab and just one top slab here like that. Now there is a tiny little gap there in the, um, in the game, so that's what that's meant to represent. Um, but yeah, once you've got this, the last thing you want to do for layer 3 is just fill this in. And that's really it for layer 3. So on to layer 4. Okay, so for layer 4 you're going to need cobblestone wall and then um, the dark oak fence gate to begin with. Just put your cobblestone wall here and then your fence gate there like that. And that's going to be our little turret. I think that looks right. Um, you know, kind of almost accurate to the game, um, but yeah, you have to accept what you've got in the game, so, you know, or in the Minecraft, not in the Halo game. <laughs> yeah, that turret is pretty powerful in the game itself, but yeah. And then just behind that, you're going to do two slabs here, and then a stair, and then two stone brick slabs on either side of that stair. Then just do a 3x3 three three with your green hardened clay, three slabs on the back, two slabs on the side, like this. And that's it for layer four, I think it is. Yeah, layer four. So yeah, layer five is gonna be the turret. Um, layer six is gonna be the turret and the barrel. And then layer seven is gonna be the last uh, details on the top. So yeah, on to layer five. Okay, so starting off for layer five, you're just gonna start by doing two green hardened clay and then two sand stain clay. And then put a slab on the front and then one on the side, on either side basically. And then three upside down stairs, like this. And then just behind those, you're going to do two slabs here, two slabs here. Then it's stair on the back, and a slab behind that. Just like that. And that's it for layer five. Uh, the turret's basically started off. So the next layer is going to be the barrel. So yeah, onto that. All right, so for layer six, I think it is. One, two, three. Four, five. Yeah, layer six. You're gonna start off by coming to these slabs here. Just do a stair next to that, and then a green hardened there and there, and then a sla slab next to that, and next to that. The turret is quite wide on this one, but I think it works out fine. Uh, one thing to know: I've reorganized the inventory, got rid of all unnecessary materials, so we now have green hardened clay, cyan, stone brick stairs, stone brick slab, stone slab, cobblestone wall, and end rod. And that's gonna be used just once. So, yeah, that's kind of a accessory material I guess I don't know what to call it but yeah in front of that green hardened clay you're gonna do stairs facing inwards and on this stair here on the left hand side only put your uh, end rod and you can get rid of that now okay so you've got this gap here you're gonna do a 3x3 three three with your green hardened clay and then two in front and then a slab there and there now behind it you're gonna do two more green hardened clay 
and then just wrap your stairs around like this. So you get this. It's quite square, but it actually works out very nicely, I think, for the turret. So now back to the front of the turret, you're going to do a cobblestone wall and then one cyan and then one, two, three cobblestone wall and then another cyan and that's going to be the barrel and it looks really nice. So instead of cutting to the next layer, I'm going to do it straight away. So you just want to come back to the very back of the turret, do a stone slab and then three stone slabs and then one there and there, then a set of three stone bricks slabs and one there, one there, and one there. And that's it for the Reach Scorpion tank. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. Although I do have a schedule lined up of vehicles I'm doing. And next up is the Reach Banshee. But let me know if you want to see anything else. Um, kind of in... I can bring things forward if people want them to be done. Um, so, yeah, quickly before I go. I know I always do this. I always look at my other stuff at the end of the video. But... The Firebase is ready for tutorial now, so it's just a case of adding that into my schedule. Um, the first kind of big thing that's coming is going to be the actual underlayer, so all of this layer here. Anything on that layer is going to be done in the same video, really. So, um, yeah, as you can see underneath all of the sockets for the buildings, there are red markings, and those are going to signify, obviously, where you'll place the buildings from other tutorials so yeah um, but yeah that's gonna be a big big video so it's gonna take a while to do so forgive me <laughs> but yeah reach scorpion done uh, up next obviously reach banshee which is there so yeah thank you and I'll see you in the next video bye bye